Maya Marie Zimmer, a native of Lutcher and a resident of Paulina, peacefully entered into eternal rest at the age of 24 on Tuesday, July 21st, 2015, at 6.50 p.m., surrounded by her loving family and many devoted friends. From the time Maya was three, three months old, when she was first diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, until her beautiful departure, she lived her life to the fullest, never allowing her illness to prevent her from pursuing her dreams and achieving her goals. They met in high school. Javas was struggling in school. Mayu was in honors and uh, offered to tutor Javas. They hit it off and they became high school sweethearts. You know, she was the captain on the dance team. I was the captain on the football team. It was, you know, one of those stories that you always hear about, you know, the leader on this and the leader on that. Obviously, they're meant to be together. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that attacks the respiratory and digestive systems. While advancements have increased life expectancy, there is still no cure for CF. She always like had like a cough, you know, type of, you know, and, you know, and she never really would tell me why and, you know, probably about, I would say, I would say probably about um, a year went by in our relationship, you know, before she finally like told me like what was happening and told me about CF. And, you know, immediately I started crying because, you know, at the time, you know, my high school sweetheart, you know, uh, my love, the person that I think I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life, told me the life expectancy rate is like 31 years old, 32 years old. Despite Maya's complications from CF, she pursued her passion for dance. I just remember going to his high school football games and I remember, you know, after her performing, you know, during halftime, you know, that they had to immediately, you know, get her some oxygen. After every time she danced, like, it took minutes for her to just catch her breath. But it was one of those things that, you know, she loved so much that, you know, even if it killed her, like, she was gonna dance because that's what made her feel free. That's what made her feel alive and, you know, uh, she did it for as long as she could. Maya went on to dance for the New Orleans NBA franchise. But as her condition progressed, Landry remained devoted and determined to help his high school sweetheart. As uh, I sat with her, talked with her, saw her do the breeding treatments, saw her take the medications, the constant doctor visits and stuff like that, I just realized that if God continued to put me on the journey that you know, I believe I was on, that if I had an opportunity with the platform, you know, that I'll continue to go out there and talk about CF. And that's really been my promise to her. Following Maya's passing in 2015, Landry kept his promise, honoring her memory and advancing the fight against cystic fibrosis. We asked him to get involved in our national walkathon, which is great strides, and he brought the teammates out. I mentioned to them when we were at practice, you know, about this and how I was affected by it, and they came to show some support. He cares. He really is in this to cure this disease. This past off season, Landry was traded to Cleveland, but on the night he was dealt to the Browns, he paid one last visit to Hard Rock Stadium to host the Jarvis Jam. Hey, how's it going? A charity event benefiting the South Florida Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. I just want to thank you for all you do with CF. That's right. my, my nephew has CF. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. And just a part of the reason why I'm here, I was affected by this early on in, in high school where I lost a girlfriend to CF. Um, and, um, you know, my promise to her was just, you know, raise as much awareness about it as possible, talk about it as much as possible, you know, and, and now I even have a new city to talk about it in and, you know, continue to find uh, uh, that looks for, for, for a cure. She's looking down, I know, happy, I think, that we're trying to, you know, better everybody's tomorrow that's, that's fighting with CF. 
And uh, if there's a cure out there that can be put together to save lives, then you know I, I would feel like part of my promise was to be uh, at least on that train and you know trying to go that way.